Watch this. The Lord is good. I'm telling you, the Lord is good. The Lord is good when, when we're not good. The Lord is good when things aren't good. The Lord, the Lord is good. I don't care what it looks like. God's good. And I start the day off declaring. And some of you may be ending your day, but declare. I believe to see the goodness of the Lord while I'm alive. I believe to see the goodness of the Lord while I'm alive. So you're alive. So all day today, you just believe you're going to see the goodness of the Lord. I thank God I'm going to see the goodness of the Lord today. Praise the Lord. I believe to see the goodness of the Lord today in the mighty name of Jesus. Good morning, everybody. Glory to God. This is the day. This is the day. It may be the day for your breakthrough. Some of you may be a few hours away from something breaking through. Some of you may be a half a day away for something breaking through. But man, you stay on God. You stay with God. Praise God. Get on the Lord's side. Amen. Stay with God. No matter what, no matter what, stay with God. We're not moved by what we see. We're not moved by what we hear. We're moved by the infallible, unchanging truth of God's word. And we're going to hang on that word. Come hell or high water, we're hanging on that word. You know, what, what they say on the news doesn't make it so. You know, to be honest with you, the redeemed of the Lord, we make it so. The Bible has give, said in, in Genesis, God gave us dominion over all the earth. And so we make it so. And, and that's what we're going to do this morning. We're going to declare and decree and make it so. We're going to decree a thing and it shall come to pass. Praise God. You hang in there, man. You do what you got to do, but don't let that word go. Don't let it go. Now, there's a difference between you know, acting like you have a relationship with God and actually having one. And uh, that just simply means you take the time to get in the word. You, you practice his presence every day. You're talking to him, you know, like a friend. I mean, you are fellowshipping with him. Your prayer time should not just be a communication time, but it should be a communion time, a time where it's not just a a, a monologue where you're just doing all the talking, but a time where prayer is a dialogue where you are not only speaking to him, but you're closing your mouth and allow him to speak back to you so you can begin to hear him with the ears that are in the center of your heart. And the Holy Spirit begins to lead you and guide you and warn you. And, you know, Holy Ghost will tell you about people you're getting ready to meet with. You might not even know. The Holy Ghost will show you things to come, praise the Lord. And so uh, all is well, all is well. That's what you say. I don't care what it looks like, what it seems like, what it sounds like, what somebody else says is like. What does the word of God say? Stick with the word. Stick with the word. Amen. That's a good word this morning. Stick with the word. Amen. The word that has never failed you, stick with that word. All is well. We send blessings to you guys this morning. Blessings to World Changes Church International, World Changes Nation. Blessing to all of you, praise God. Blessings to, oh man, my sons and daughters in the ministry. Blessings to uh, the e-members. Blessings to all of our staff working so hard overseas and all of our offices. Blessings to the global missions who are hard at work meeting the needs of people. We're blessed and uh, you're blessed. And I don't care what it looked like. Don't care what it sounds like. We're not living our lives based on what it looks like. That's what the world does. We're living our life based on what the word has to say. And so you're going to have to disconnect from what's happening in the world, and you're going to have to connect to what is promised in the word. We are word people. That's a big thing. We stick with the word, praise God. We stay with the word. Hallelujah. 
Glory be to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, I want to do something. I've been doing too many funerals. And right now, I, I take authority over death. No more death. No more death. No more accidents. No more no more heart attacks. No more COVID. None of that. No more. Now, now I'm asking you to agree with me right now. Death, you stop right now. There, I call on miracles. I call on the supernatural right now to take place in the name of Jesus. I give God praise for that right now. I speak over your physical bodies right now. I declare you are healed right now. You will live and not die, and you will glorify God. You'll live and not die. Now, now let me say this, unless you want to go home and be with the Lord, because you have a choice to do that. But if you don't want to go, you ain't got to go. You will live and not die, and you will complete everything that God's told you to complete. No accidents, no, 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 you know, body malfunctions. I call you well. Death, I speak to you, and I rebuke you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You take your hands off the body of Christ. You take your hands off my my brothers and sisters, my sons and daughters, you take your hands off of them right now. I command you in the name of Jesus. And I got a whole bunch of folks who are agreeing with me right now. So Satan, we remind you that you are defeated and Jesus is Lord. Praise God. You are Psalms 91 equipped. You might have to remind yourself of that. Praise God. You might have to remind yourself that God is on your side and God's got your back. You might have to speak to yourself in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Hallelujah. You might have to walk around the yard and just talking to you and God, praising the Lord. Glory be to God and let that devil know I am not going to quit. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to cave in. God's been too good to me. And uh, hallelujah. You got to get yourself stirred up. Praise God. You get to listening to all this stuff going around. Boy, you you get to listen to all this stuff going around you. Next thing you know, you're in front of the liquor store looking for you a bottle of cognac or something. We don't do that. We are the redeemed of the Lord, praise God. We have the blood of Jesus, praise God. We have the Holy Ghost, praise God. We have, we have the word of God, hallelujah. Glory be to God. We got praying in tongues, glory to God. We got uh, uh, authority over all the power of the enemy and nothing will by any means hurt us, praise God. Rise up, body of Christ. Stand up before all of the tricks of the devil and remind him who we are. We are the body of Christ, hallelujah. No, nobody, no more, no more shooting and no more killing. No, devil, yeah, we got enough nerve to rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We take authority right now in Jesus mighty name. So everybody that that's logged on, you sick, I call you healed. Everybody that's logged on and you depressed, you I call joy into your life right now. Everybody logged on and, and uh house been destroyed or you lost a joy, uh, lost a job or promotion. I declare restoration right now. In fact, you say it out loud, restore, say it again, restore. And I just believe that whatever is missing and whatever was taken will be restored unto you in the name of Jesus. All is well. I just showed up this morning to be your spiritual cheerleader, to tell you, come on, man. You know, some of you fallen, man, just, just wipe the dust off and keep, keep kicking. Keep going for it. Praise God. All is well. All is well. God's restoring. God is healing. God is delivering. God is filling you with joy. I believe some of you are breaking out with a little Holy Ghost laughter right now because all of a sudden that big old mountain is being reduced to a little old bitty nothing. And you've reminded yourself if Jesus delivered me once, if he healed me once, if he provided for me once, if he restored for me once, he'll do it again. And he's doing it right now. He's doing it right now. He's doing it right now. I speak blessings over your life. Hallelujah. 
I speak blessings over your life. I speak joy over your life. I speak peace over your life. Hallelujah. I speak favor over your life. I, I speak the goodness of the Lord over your life. Woo, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm about to shout in this place. Glory to God. Why? I know God's good. Woo, where would we be if it were not for God? Where would we be if we didn't have his word? Where would we be if we didn't have the Holy Spirit to lead and to guide us? Praise God. I don't know. I don't want to know where we would be. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. I tell you, man, I'm I might, I might just, just get on top of my desk and just dance a little bit. I'm thanking God. I, I'm, I'm going to give the devil a headache today because I want, I'm going to maintain my joy all day today. And I attack him at every, every turn in Jesus name. God's good. God's good. God's good. You just say it over and over again. God's good. And just believe for that goodness today. Believe for that goodness today. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I need a Hammond organ right now. Glory be to God. He's good. Hallelujah. Now, I don't mean to mess up some of your sleep, y'all. Some of y'all getting ready to go to bed and and, and I'm getting y'all stirred up. Praise the Lord. <laughs> glory to God. But the devil ain't seen nothing yet. The glory of the Lord is on you right now. The glory of the Lord is in your house right now. The glory of the Lord is in your relationships right now. Whatever was wrong, God is making it right. Hallelujah. And sending every devil to flight. Glory be to God. All is well. I'm just I'm just declaring over your life. I'm just I'm speaking over your life. I'm speaking blessings over your life right now. Somebody says, well, what do I do with it? Receive it. Praise God. Receive it. Say that's me. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And I'm telling you, the goodness of the Lord shall be seen today. Some of you are about to hear from God as you go to sleep. God's going to speak to you and he's going to give to you in your sleep. He's going to give to you in your sleep. Glory be to God. God is good. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Now you just praise the Lord just for a little bit in your own way. I don't know. You can lift your hands up and be quiet. You, you might want to clap a little bit. You, you might want to just shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Uh, we can do what we do with through the technology, but I've just got to believe that something's happening where you are, praise God, and all is well. Look at everything that might be going wrong and say, all is well. Look at everything they said was going to happen, say, all is well. Look at any lack that's in your life and say, all is well in the name of Jesus. That's what we do. That's what we do. We are the body of Christ. Hallelujah. Come on, let's get Psalms equipped. Then I'm going to show you how to tap into that power of God. We're going to plead the blood of Jesus that brings peace. Glory to God. We're going to speak uh, confessions over your material needs. Come on, let's rock and roll. I declare that I will dwell in the shelter of the Most High God. I declare that I'll find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I declare that God is my refuge and my fortress. I declare that you are my God in whom I trust and with great confidence in whom I will rely. I declare that God will rescue me from every trap and protect me from every disease. I declare that I am covered and protected by his outstretched arms. I declare that God's faithful promises are my armor and my protection. I declare that I will not be afraid of the terrors of the night, nor of the arrows that fly in the day. I declare that I will not dread any disease that stalks in the darkness, nor any disaster that strikes at midday. I declare that because God is my refuge and the almighty God of my home, no evil can befall me. No plague can come near my dwelling. I declare that God has ordered his angels to guard, defend, and protect me and my house. I declare that God's armies of heaven 
will keep me from falling and I will walk unharmed and kick anything that is evil from my path. I declare that because of God's love for me, I will call upon him. He will set me above all my troubles. He will deliver me from all my fears and he will honor me with his presence and power. I declare that he will reward me with long life and he will show me his salvation. You are Psalms 91 equipped. Come on, let's keep going. Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law. Christ has redeemed me from poverty. Christ has redeemed me from sickness. Christ has redeemed me from spiritual death. For poverty, he has given me wealth. For sickness, he has given me health. For death, he has given me eternal life. It is true unto me, according to the word of God, I delight myself in the Lord, and he gives me the desires of my heart. I have given, and it is given unto me. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, men give unto my bosoms. With what measure I meet, it is measured unto me. I sow bountifully, therefore I reap bountifully. I give cheerfully, and my God has made all grace abound towards me. And I, having all sufficiency of all things, do abound to all good works. There is no lack. There is no lack. There is no lack. For my God supplies all my need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. The Lord is my shepherd, and I do not want, because Jesus was made poor, that I through his poverty might have abundance. For he came that I might have life and have it more abundantly. And I, having received a gift of righteousness, do reign as a king in life by Jesus Christ. The Lord has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant and Abraham's blessings are mine. I declare in the name of Jesus, no lack in your life and all is well. Amen. Come on, let's plead the blood of Jesus where our peace is concerned. Repeat after me, Father, I thank you that through the blood of Jesus, I now have the peace that passes all understanding, guarding my heart and my mind. I declare that I have peace, wholeness, and completeness, nothing missing, nothing broken in any in every area of my life. Amen. Now, if you want scriptures for what you just said over peace, Colossians chapter 1 and 20, he says, and having made peace through the blood of his cross by him to reconcile all things unto him and himself, by him I say whether they be things in earth or things in heaven, the blood of Jesus brings you peace in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory be to God, man. All is well, praise God. All is well. Now, let's talk about tapping into God's power. And, uh, you know, you're, you're not powerless. The devil would try to convince you that you are. You are not powerless. Look at this, Ephesians chapter 6 and 10. He says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. And what? And then, and in the power of his might. So you can be strong in the Lord and in the power, you can be strong in the power of his might. So tapping into God's power is important now. Tapping into that power, first of all, starts with, with knowing that it's available to you. And you having confidence that in the name of Jesus, I can tap into that power. All right. Now, say this out loud. I confess that God's overpowering, conquering, 
and ir irresistible power flows through me. The very power that raised Jesus from the dead resides and operates in my life. It is an eruptive power. It is a demonstrated power. And it is an outwardly visible power. The strongest kind of power known to God or man. With this empowering presence of the Holy Spirit working in me, I expect the power that raised Jesus from the dead. Glory be to God. To operate in my life. I deliberately turn up my level of expectation and anticipate this mighty power of God to begin to flow through me. I declare this by faith in Jesus' name. Well, it all starts with releasing faith through the words that come out of your mouth. Power is the ability to get get the job done. It's the ability to get results. You know, when you talk about the anointing, the anointing is, is God's ability to see burdens removed and yokes destroyed. I declare this over your life today, that the power of God operates through you. The ability to get results operates through you. The ability to get the job done operates through you. Well, how do you lose that power? How do you work it? Through the words of your mouth. I speak to that mountain in Jesus' name, and I command it to be gone. Well, you just release power. And so your faith stands on it. You walk around knowing that you have this power. I tap into it with words. I tap into it with faith-filled words. Now, that's important, what I just said. I know it sounds cliche as faith-filled words, but faith-filled words are words that are active. They are filled with confidence. Faith-filled words are words that come forth out of your heart and out of your confidence, and then it's loose through your mouth. It's not words that you speak out of your mind more than it is words that you have digested on the inside of you and you believe with everything in you that this thing is so. So those words are faith-filled words. They are active, which means they get quick response because they're active. So, you know, the Bible talks about if you believe in your heart and say with your mouth. So what happens is in your heart, you're filled with faith and you believe it and, and it, you're, you're, you're overflowing with confidence until you just know that you know that you know that you have a rest and you speak it with boldness. You, you open your mouth up and you say a word that's filled with faith and confidence and peace and rest and, and joy. Hallelujah. It's not speaking it out of your head. Well, I know the Bible says then I'm going to be healed. And then you just kind of say it because you, you know it up here. But faith-filled words kind of come out of the belief of a man's heart. Ooh, man. It's like you just released a piece of yourself because you're so full of it. You so believe it. It's almost like you can close your eyes and see yourself with what you said. Hallelujah. That's why we meditate in that word day and night. And, 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 and success comes because when you're meditating in that word, you're just filling your heart with faith stuff. And then when you open your mouth to speak it, something powerful begins to happen. That's, that's how you tap into that power. Praise God. Well, hey, man, let me leave y'all alone. I love y'all so much. You know it's going to be a good day. You're believing that you will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And you know what? I agree with you. You will. All is well. World changes. Go out and make a mark in the lives of somebody that cannot be erased. God is good. Taffy and I love you so much. And you're going to have a good day today. Believe for it. You're going to have a good day today. Believe for that good day today. 
in Jesus' name. Amen. I love y'all.